Oliver out of Charleston, West Virginia. These guys, he's a military veteran and uh, been looking forward to watching this guy fight. He's been hitting up Keith No for a while, wanting to be matched up. Now we're about to see what he's caught. He looks excited. You know, it's refreshing to be able to get some new faces in here that we've never watched, you know, because it always starts with that, and then we end up becoming fans of them. And you know they, they stay with you, exactly. Yeah. You follow them through. And this guy looks in great shape. He does. You know, like I say, he's a military guy, so you know he's working out a lot, running. He's going up against Jacob Oliver, or Bobby Horn, I'm sorry. And he is from Gilbert. And look at Mr. Horn getting ready to come out. He looks intense here. He is ready to go. Looks like he's in great shape as well. Very interesting. You know, I, I like fights like this when you don't know much about either guy. You don't know what to expect. And sometimes you find diamonds in the rough that way. You find guys that are like, oh my God, he's the real deal. And I'll tell you this, both these guys look like they could be the real deal. Yeah. intense over there in the corner and Jacob looks calm as well <laughs> yeah this is going to be a good fight I'm I just excited. have a feeling about it switching stances little 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 wild but over and over he's switching stances he switched stances five times before he's thrown <laughs> the first punch Woo. Big overhand. You see, he's very Gotta green. Got to be a little bit more calm with their feet. A little green, bit more relaxed. Jacob looks the, like the sharper guy here. But he's whiffing on those right hands. You know, it's interesting. Horn, as, as green as he looks, he's kind of elusive. He's doing a good job at staying away from those punches. I like he, the he, fact he has, that he's wearing he the shorts backward as well. I think that throws you off. No, I think that's how they look. I think that's how they are. Those are the Ali's. Oh, those are They're cool. cool. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm the dumb one. No. <laughs> oh, man, beautiful. Dude, he's elusive. Yes. He's hard to hit. He is really good. He's got good. strange head movement. But I'm waiting on him to lean into a big shot. Because eventually, I think Jacob could time that. Yes. And when he dips, you throw that right hand. That could be, yeah. that could be uh, devastating. All right, going into round number two. And here we go. In a very interesting fight, you know, two very, you know, raw beginners. Very, very green. But look how elusive he is. Very, very smooth. That's with like his movement. natural head movement too, because you can tell he's absolutely not natural. Much. And he switches stances so. Like, he knows to that. stay away from those punches, Elijah. He can move his head. Oh, that was kind of a little too low. Yeah, slip there. He's a little bit of a slip right there. And then he just came after him, dove on top of him. Really good head movement and, and distance. That's natural. I do you not can think tell. Jacob has landed a clean shot yet, and it's fascinating. And if they do, and when they do, it's going to hurt. Look at this. Watch Horn. Watch his unorthodox movement. And it's really hard for Jacob, who actually looks like the more technical boxer, to pin him down. See, and now he's landed too. It's very strange. See, look at that. Look at that head movement. Beautiful. He's got to be tired. He moves so much. I know. Let's see if this might be the opportunity Oliver was looking for. But one-minute rounds, it's hard to get anything going in a one-minute round, though. Hard to set anything up. Ooh, yep, there it is. Oh, man, beautiful. And and it looks like Jacob's got him on the run now. But And I don't know if that was a knockdown or a slip. I believe it, it was like a slip. A slip. 
Look at that head movement. And it's, it's, oh man, beautiful right hook landed in the middle of that flurry. See, well, Oliver faints and sits back one time. Good job. Uppercut. Man, this guy's head movement's unique. But, you know, I think he's, he's, he's fading a little bit this yeah, round. Yeah, he is. Like you said, I mean, he's, he's you just see, he doesn't hard. look quite as confident either. He was so confident the first two rounds, yeah. But now he's hurting. You can see something's bothering him. I think he's just tired. Something's bothering him though. He's getting clipped. He's getting clipped right now too. I don't know. I think his leg. I don't know. He's he's moving strange. Well, at the beginning of the third round, he ate a nasty left hook that landed. I mean, clean. I don't see though, right there, he's grabbing his body. Something's going on with him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, judge number one scores the fight 29 28 for the blue corner. Judge number three scores the bout 29 28 for the red corner. We got a split decision here, Paul. Judge two scores the bout 29 28. Your winner by split decision. I know the corner. Jacob Oliver wins the decision, but an excellent fight for both guys in their debuts here.